Hello, I'm Miss Eileen from the Yonkers Library in New York. But for now, I'm at home with all of my favorite books, and I'd love to read them with you. Let's sing our welcome song, shall we? Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Stories, old and stories new. Fun for me and fun for you. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Now you're here, let's have some fun. Today, we are reading all about baking. And our first baker is Mr. Cookie Baker by Monica Wellington. Early in the morning, Mr. Baker gets ready to make cookies. He counts and measures the ingredients for his recipe. He mixes his cookie dough. Then he rolls out the dough and cuts out shapes with cookie cutters. The cookies bake in the oven. Out they come, nicely browned. What a delicious smell! Mm. Mr. Baker decorates the cookies with icing and colored sprinkles. Now he is ready for his customers. Here come the hungry children. Mr. Baker shows off his cookies. He is proud. Mrs. Baker sells the cookies. The shop is crowded. The cookies are sold. It is time to close. At last, a cookie for Mr. Baker. Good night. And here is Mr. Baker's sugar cookie recipe. And that is the end. So he was Mr. Cookie Baker, but do you know the Muffin Man? Should we sing his song? Ready? It goes like this. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man that lives in Drury Lane? Yes, we know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, we know the Muffin Man that lives on Drury Lane. Now, he was the Muffin Man. Our next story is all about the Gingerbread Man. And it is from Richard Scarry's Nursery Tales. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, a little old woman and a little old man lived in a little old house. One day, the little old woman decided to make a gingerbread man. She cut him out of dough and put him in the oven to bake. After a while, the little old woman said to herself, That gingerbread man must be ready by now. She went to the oven door and opened it. Out jumped the gingerbread man and away he ran out the front door. There he goes. Oh dear. And as he ran, 
he shouted, Run, run, as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The little old woman ran after the gingerbread man, but she couldn't catch him. He ran past the little old man who was working in his garden. Run, run, as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I've run away from the little old woman, and I can run from you, I can. The little old man ran, but he couldn't catch the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man came to a field of mowers. He called out as he went by, I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, and I can run from you, I can. There he goes. The mowers ran after him, but they couldn't catch him. The gingerbread man ran until he came to a cow. Run, run, as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, and a field full of mowers, and I can run from you, I can. The cow ran. There she goes. But she couldn't catch him. And there they all are following the gingerbread man. He ran between two picnicking bears. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a field full of mowers, and a cow, and I can run from you, I can. The bears jumped up and ran after him. They ran, and ran, but they couldn't catch the gingerbread man. Soon, the gingerbread man came to a fox lying by the side of the river. And he shouted, Run, run, as fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a field full of mowers, a cow, and two picnicking bears. And I can run from you, I can. But the sly fox just laughed, ha ha, and said, If you don't get across the river quickly, you will surely get caught. If you hop on my tail, I will carry you across. Do you think that's a good idea? Let's see. The gingerbread man saw he had no time to lose, so he quickly hopped onto the fox's tail. Oh, said the fox, the water's getting deeper. Climb up on my back so you won't get wet. And the gingerbread man did. Look out, said the fox. The water's even deeper. Climb up on my head so you won't get wet. And the gingerbread man did. It's too deep, it's too deep, cried the fox. Climb up on my nose so you won't get wet. And the gingerbread man did. Then, with a flick of his head, he tossed the gingerbread man into his mouth. 
and his jaws snapped shut. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. So, that is a very happy fox. And that is the end of our story. And now it's time to sing our goodbye song and maybe go bake some cookies, right? Thank you for reading with me. Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye.